Show you all the outside of the purple coop. I've added some wind guards here because I just added some roosting boxes for uh, my beautiful ladies in here. We're gonna see if we can get these chickens to lay in those roosting boxes up top. Hopefully they will. Right now they're looking for their eggs. Their eggs I actually placed inside the baskets up here. But uh, one quick tip, y'all. If you build a chicken pen, which this is something I'm proud of. I've never built nothing in my life. Look at that, y'all. I'm super proud of this, super proud. But uh, it's even got motion lights on it, something comes up. But make sure that you add a latch at the bottom because coyotes and raccoons, whatever, will pull. Make sure you add that little safety latch at the bottom. I promise you, it'll save you. It'll keep your door from bowing. You know, in case, what I've learned, in case you accidentally uh, put the, wrong, the lumber face in the wrong direction, but I made sure that the bow was to the inside, so, I mean, to the outside, so that it would, you know, face like it's facing right now. And then I have the actual top rack right here. And uh, my wife's calling. But like I was saying, you make it a double lock system so the door doesn't bow at the bottom and nothing can pull the corner of the door out. And it'll protect you from coyotes. Now we're inside the purple coop, as you can see. Ain't it pretty? I built it myself. All right, now I just added this just so the wind, so I, I found that chickens don't like to roost where the wind will hit them. So I just added this backing plate right here with some tin and I made these roosting boxes. Check it out. Ain't it pretty? Some old drink carriers and uh, I put their eggs in it. So hopefully they'll know where to start laying their eggs so that they'll stop laying them down here. That would be awesome. I also raised their roosting bar and their uh, racking, I mean, their ladder deal. And then I lowered this top rail, if you're wondering why they look so close together compared to this one, because they keep pooping on the wall back there. So by lowering it, it brings their butt away from the wall, y'all. So hopefully that works. And what I'll do is I'll raise this bar up. Uh, matter of fact, I'll do that now. I just remembered, I can't raise that because from the ground up there, it gives them the leverage to jump to the next bar and uh, they love it. But now if I see there's an issue, I'm just doing this so that my chickens don't have so much trouble jumping from this to that. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. If I notice one day that they just fly up there, then uh, you know, I'll move it. But until then they have these two roosting bars, which are perfect. And uh, then they have their nesting boxes, y'all. Super proud of this idea and this deal right here. Thank you, Brandon, for the uh, drink crates. As you see, brand new wood chips, brand new. Oh yeah, he's good to go for a little bit. And I'm so thankful for that tree crew that brought me those chips right there, as y'all see. And uh, hopefully they'll bring a whole lot more. And then I've had people call and tell me or send me some DMs and be like, hey, on my other platforms, hey, uh, I raised 20 trees and only five survived. I raised 10 chickens and two died. And uh, I ju I'm just terrible at being a gardener and a farmer. Think about what you've learned already. I mean, it's unreal to just think about, you kept five trees alive. There's people on this planet that can't keep any tree alive. You kept five trees alive and you kept eight chickens alive. Hey, that's amazing. And uh, I mean, this, nobody's perfect. I, of course, there's gonna be a ton of people on here that know everything under the sun. I'm not a genius. I'm definitely not a professional, but you just take what you learn from that experience and you just keep going. And hey, be proud of your, you know, if you raise 20 trees and only five survive, be, be proud of those five. You raise 10 chickens, but two die. Be proud of those eight. Man, you can't watch all the crap that you see on here about, oh, if you do this and you do that. Look, start slow, start small, only what you can afford and, and figure it out. I mean, as you go, you will grow. I promise you. All you got to do is the three G's. Get up, get outside and get to doing something. Y'all want to know how dirty duck eggs can get? That's how dirty they can get. Well, look how calm they are, y'all. I'm sitting right here. Look. I'm just sitting on the ground or just squatted down. She wants the eggs in my hand, but I mean, she's just got to understand. She gets to stay alive because I get to get her eggs. And uh, we've got quite a few beautiful 
hinge. Y'all check them out. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's my favorite right there on the right. And then here comes a big bad dude right there. He's ready to claim his bride. But just having a little duck zen right now, enjoying what I'm doing. Y'all see that tail wagon? He don't, he don't like for me to touch him, but he's happy that I'm in here. And just so y'all know, there was no pond here when I left. Check this out. They've made a pond, a really nice pond actually. But it rained a lot. We've had a ton of rain, so I'm out here trying to get whatever chores I can. My wife went to get my daughter Haven. And uh, when they get back, we'll start the day fresh tomorrow. But I'm trying to get done what I can get done. And as you just heard that noise, that's very rare where you hear a Muscovy duck make a noise, but that was breeding noise. He was telling her to get back here. <laughs> Besides what my wife got before I got home up from the road, this is my haul this afternoon. Only from the ducks, the malene, well, actually there is four malene eggs that I don't have in here. I'm using those, or three malene eggs. I busted one. I'm using that to attract them into the, the nest that I just created, but there is American breast, black cop moran, and duck eggs right there. All right, everybody. I just now noticed that I forgot to put an end in on this video, so I'm adding it now. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't done so, so far, please click like and subscribe. I wish I'd have said this earlier in the video. I may, I may text it in there. But uh, until next time, I'm your boy Maniac. Thank you for watching Maniac Nation, y'all. We out.